welcome back in this video we will learn about if function there are two different functions if and ifs both uses some logic and provided us output basis that logic so let us start with if this is my if formula the first logic the first thing that it asks is logical test what is logical test let's suppose this is 89 this is an exam score if i will say 89 is greater than 100 then it is true otherwise false so 89 is greater than something is a logical test if this logical test is true then value this value will return otherwise this value will return so as you can see that this is some exam score for few students if i wanted to check that if this number is greater than 50 If this condition met, then my student will pass. If this condition doesn't met, then he is failed. Now let's call this formula and paste from here. Now you can see that. 89, 76, 93 are more than 50. So it gives us the true value that is pass. In the case of 43 and 23, these values are less than 50. So it gives me the second value means fail. So whenever the logical test that is in this case is B3 is greater than 50. If logical test pass, then first value will come. If this fails, the second value will come. Now, the second term that we will be understanding is ifs. As you just saw that there were just two. One test, logical test was there and basis that we were getting the value. This is was a limitation in this formula. So, now we get new formula ifs which has a lot of logical tests it is to be precise 127 logical tests can be put here so let's check now i wanted to categorize this number on grid basis so let's suppose if it is greater this logical test is greater than and equal to 90 then i will provide grade a and again this logical test is greater than 80 then i will provide grade b again this condition greater than equal to 70 then grade c if logical test is greater than equal to 60 then d let's suppose one more condition here that is greater than equal to 50 then e now i wanted to put one more condition that if these condition do not meet then the student will be fail so to put this condition we will use true here then comma then put the last condition that is fail and close the parenthesis now if you see that the grades are given to the number this is the condition that we have given so whenever there is a logical test made 
the con the particular value true value will come from here if all these logical test fails then this value will come so i hope if and ifs are clear now in the next few videos we will learn about how to use if with and or functions